Jewel Master? What's he the master of? His family jewels? The peaceful kingdom of Mythgar seemed blessed for all time. Then the Demon King, Jardine the Mad, came to power and it seems that all good was gone forever. Jewel Master, Weaver of the Elements, was summoned to possess magical rings of great power and to use these rings to conjure spells with which to defeat the legions of evil. As the Jewel Master, you must seek out the remaining rings, reclaim the Elemental Blade, and strike down Jardine the Mad. Only by wielding the Elemental Blade can Mythgard be restored to its former glory. Well, that's essentially what happens. Bad guy comes in, causes trouble, and it's up to the hero to rise up and save the day. Or in this case, the player. The story in Jewel Master is the least interesting part of the game, as you only get the story of the game during the intro and at the end when you beat the game. Suffice to say, I find it lackluster. Unlike the gameplay, which I found has a very interesting concept. Jewel Master is a side-scrolling arcade-like blast-em-up? I mean, it's not a beat-em-up or a shoot-em-up, really. Sure, you shoot enemies with magic, but it's not like, say, Contra or Gunstar Heroes. So I'm just gonna call it blast-em-up. Because magic. Anyways, the goal of the game is to survive through the level, collect rings, not like Sonic, which I'll talk about later, and defeat the boss at the end of the stage, who will and can kick your ass if you suck. There's five stages in this game. They're pretty short levels, which may explain why the game bumped up the difficulty with enemies swarming everywhere, limited continues, no checkpoints, and bosses who will murder you if you don't figure out the strategy to defeat them and equip the appropriate rings to fight them. Okay, what's up with the rings and blings? Well, they are your source of magic to cast spells to attack. You start out with two rings that you can equip on both of your hands, which you can also wear two rings on each hand. I don't know why you can't have four rings on one hand like on the cover art. False advertising bastards. But yes, there are more rings that you can find by killing certain enemies and bosses. The rings are based around the four elements, and I hope you're holding onto your seats, because these elements are gonna blow your mind, because they're... Earth! Fire! Wind! Water! Fucking yawn! Okay, so the four elements aren't original like most ideas around the time, but what I really found interesting is that you can combine certain element types to form newer and stronger magic to use. It's pretty neat, and the magic fires out like a shmup game, which I like. Do be careful though, as elements of the opposites, like say, fire to water, will cancel each other out. And also some enemies and bosses are immune to certain attacks, like you can't harm the firebird with fire because it's on fire due to fire. Fire, 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 fire. Is there anything else about fire that would be related to the game? Well, the graphics aren't exactly on fire. I mean, it looks okay. It has a gritty comic book feel to it, like most Sega Genesis games in this area. The design and presentation in the levels look like burnt on cheese. And by that, I mean it looks kind of lazy. The animation is also kind of lacking, like most enemies are kind of static, and the Jewel Master's upper body doesn't move when he's walking, or is he strutting along? Now while the graphics may be lacking, what's not lacking is the music in Jewel Master. It sounds pretty good, and if only I was saying that about the original as I was listening to the soundtrack on my Genesis, which messes with the original audio of the game, making it have a lower pitch and speed, which actually made the music sound better than the original. That's kind of surprising, considering most of the music I hear in my Genesis gets butchered and crippled. So, what do I think of Jewel Master? Well, I do suggest checking it out. I quite like the game, despite me having to look up a guide and video for help. Because like I said, the difficulty of the game can be pretty brutal if you don't know what to do. I'd call it a hidden gem, but then the bad pun police would be after me. So regardless of that, this is Whizwer100, you're the viewers and I'm the reviewer. And welcome to Season 3 premiere of the Sega Genesis Quickies. See ya! Daryl's stuff. You wanna have a bad time for knocking down Papyrus and Yoshi?